books are, I've, I've talked about this channel before, Voices of the Past, where they read in English um, the first person accounts of different historical features translated into English. Uh, but basically it's sort of as autobiographical. So this is uh, the Iwakura Embassy back in the Meiji period when Japan was just opening up. Rather than having established fixed embassies, you know, like we think of embassies today in every country, Japan basically sent around these tours of diplomats that would go around Europe. And in each country, you know, they would meet the Queen of England and, you know, the, the Kaiser Wilhelm. And, you know, they, they'd go around. And in this case, it was actually Bismarck that they met. Um, and, and meet all these sort of amazing, you know, historical sort of figures in person. And these were the accounts of written in Japanese of the Japanese, you know, going to these countries for the first time, which must have been like going to an alien planet. And meeting these people and recording the reactions that was had to them and how they perceived and how they learned about Europe and the characteristics of the different colonial powers and how Japan looked at Western colonialism as they were learning about it themselves from the Europeans uh, in 1872. It's a long video, but it's just really fascinating. And they were kind of they were quite astute as to, you know, and you can see a lot of uh, Japan really just chose to ally with Britain and to emulate Prussia. And part of the reason that they um, emulated with Prussia, it's pretty clear from listening to this, is that they were impressed by the Prussians talking about how, you know, they were they were obsessed with fighting for independence. They didn't have an empire like the other big countries in Europe, and they were just fighting for their existence. And, you know, that they, should, they would be a good friend to Japan because they warned Japan that you should be worried about the other colonial powers that just take land everywhere else, whereas, you know, Prussia will help them remain independent. That was the pitch. Of course, if you know about the history of Prussia and uh, and Germany, you know that, yeah, no, they totally wanted to have a, an empire too and, and catch up for time. But that was a sales pitch that they made to Japan um, that clearly won Japan over. Um, various other fantastic video, just uh, really, really fascinating. So highly recommend that. Um, should, if you're not on Twitter, um, just, just look, look these up. Um, pause it anyway. Uh, Japan on colonialism and empire from, uh, this is Voices of the Past channel. Um, that's the